Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another tutorial which uh, well was as well one of the most requested things around here which is how you do custom upgrades. So first of all I should mention that this is actually not um, a real upgrade per se but it's more a pseudo upgrade. It does work in the same way in the end though. So there are two triggers I need to explain here. First one is custom unit upgrades. Um, you enable a movable map revealer here, which is uh, just our dummy technology, so, so to say. Then change the train location of that to the same building where the legionnaire was trained. Uh, legionnaire was in slot one, so the movable map, movable map revealer needs to be in slot six, so that it is exactly below the legionary like a normal upgrade would be. You also need to change the cost of the movable map revealer of course since it doesn't have a uh, cost attached to it normally and also change the description to Praetorians. There we go. The cost of that technology and then upgrades to legionary turns which are stronger. Fairly basic. And then, uh, yeah, this is like the setup, but at this point you can uh, yeah, research the technology, but all you will get for that is a movable map revealer and will actually not do anything a upgrade would do. So you need the second trigger here, uh, Legionaries Upgraded is it called, and it checks you own a movable map revealer and um, also if the storage building is selected. So this isn't required, but if you want to have multiple buildings and have an upgrade in each of those and want to use the movable map revealer for each one of those as well, then um, yeah, the object selected kind of identifies which of those upgrades you are currently researching. Then you remove the movable map revealer again because, well, it was just a dummy. And also you replace all of your legionaries with Teutonic Knights. So this way um, any units you already trained will be replaced by the new ones. Uh, you disable legionaries and enable Teutonic Knights. Then you change the Teutonic Knights to whatever you want to be. In this case it's Praetorian cost, uh, elite Roman infantry unit, HP, attack, armor, pierce armor, like you did with the legionary previously. Uh, you change the train location to uh, the slot where the legionary used to be. Here is very important that you disable the legionary before you set the train location of the Teutonic Knight, which is the upgraded uh, legionary in this case, because um, otherwise it will not overwrite the, um, the legionary there. Uh, then you disable the movable map revealer here since uh, yeah, you shouldn't be able to research the same technology twice. And yeah, I modified the just very basic um, way of changing the um, the upgraded legionary with the just giving that 25 extra HP. So here you would do so those things if you wanted to have uh, different stats on your upgraded units and. Um, yeah, I also included a little, like a little uh, instruction when you research them. Then you get that icon displayed, which is uh, the icon the um, Praetorians will have, like the unit icon. A little message popping up, and that's it. So it is a little bit, um, a little bit more complex than just enable unit training, but uh, if you go through it step by step, I think you should get the idea behind it. Let's test this route real quick. There we go, we're just going to train a few legionaries here. But now we want to use the Praetorian upgrade. There we go, we got the message Praetorians researched. All legionaries got replaced with Praetorians, which have the Belisarius icon and all that stuff, which I showed you in the last one as well for yeah, how to do uh, custom units. And now if we 
uh, the legionary has disappeared and in its um, place the praetorian appeared and now we can train those praetorians which also have like the same stats as the legionaries which got converted so you see this is working just nicely okay so if you have any suggestions as always uh, just leave them in the comments if you've got any more questions about this as well um i'll try to get to all of those and uh, yeah i would like to thank you for watching and to say goodbye see you in the next one